Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python unit testing tutorial for beginners using PyTest. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use fixtures with PyTest. So let's get started. So to start with, on the left hand side, I have this student DB class. Now, as you can see here in the init method, I'm just initializing a member variable, which is data is equal to none. And then it has two methods. One is connect method and the other is get data method. Now this connect method takes one argument, which is data file. Now, if you can see on the right hand side, I have written two tests for this student DB. And I have first of all imported this class and then I have initialized this class student DB and then I'm calling the connect method here. Now in the connect method argument, I'm giving this data.json as an argument. So let me show you what this data.json contains. So this data.json contains the data of the student. So it has this element called students, which contains this array, which contains different data about different students. So right now I have uh, two student data here. One is ID one Scott pass and other is ID two mark and fail. So using this connect method, I'm just opening this uh, data.json file and then I'm just loading this uh, JSON file as the dictionary. So as you can see here, I'm using the JSON module, which I have imported at the top. And whenever I call JSON.load, it's going to convert this JSON.file into the dictionary. And then I have this method called get data, which takes one argument, which is the name of the student. Now this name, I'm going to search in the dictionary, which I got using the connect method. And if this name, which is provided as an argument is contained in the student's data, then I'm going to just return this student dictionary. So once again, as you can see here, I'm just importing the student .db class, and then I'm just initializing the student DB. And then I'm just calling the method called connect. And in the connect method, I'm giving the data.json as an argument, which is this file, which contains the student data. And in the next step, I'm just calling the get data method from the student DB class. And I'm giving the name of the students here. So you can see the name of the student is Scott. That's why I'm giving Scott here. And in the next test, I'm giving the mark name, which is the second name here. And then using these assert statement, I'm just checking whether this ID, which I got using the Scott data is equal to the ID, which is there in the JSON file or not. Same assert I have written for the student's name and the student's result. And similar test I have written for the second name or second student, which is Mark. Now, as you have already seen to make things simpler, I have just used this JSON file as the database file. But in real life situations, you might be having some other databases like MySQL or PostgreSQL or MongoDB or any other database. And you might want to test your database. So this same approach you can use whenever you are trying to use the real database so let's first of all run these tests and let's see what's the result here. So I'm going to just run these tests and you can see both tests passed here. Now let's talk about the problems with these two test cases. Now you might have already guessed that we are repeating ourselves. So we are initializing this database twice for the two tests, but let's say we have thousands and thousands of tests then you have to initialize this database thousand times. So the first problem is the code repetition. The second problem is whenever you want to uh, initialize your database, for example, thousand time, these initializations are resource intensive. So they will be costlier to your system on which you are running these test cases because they are consuming your resources. 
So what can be the solution here? So you can use two type of solutions in these type of cases. The first approach is by using the setup and tear down methods. Now the setup and tear down method falls into the category of classic X unit style setup. If you are familiar with other testing frameworks like unit test or nose, these methods might be familiar to you. So first of all, we will see how to solve this problem using the setup and tear down methods. And then we will see how to solve this problem using PyTest fixtures. So we already know the problem. So to solve this, there is a method called a setup and the tear down module method. So I'm going to just write uh, setup underscore module. And this takes one argument, which is uh, module. And then here inside this method, you can initialize your resources. So let me define a global DB variable and I'm going to initialize it with none. And then I'm going to just use this initialization inside this setup module. So whenever you write this setup module as it is, then PyTest is going to understand that this is a setup method and it's going to execute this code before executing your tests. So what I have done is I have defined the global DB variable. That means I need to indicate inside the setup method that this is the global variable. And that means now inside this DB, we have our database instance. So we don't need this initialization in these two test cases now. And now we can use this DB instance to call the get data method to get the data about particular student. So this is the setup module method. There is also a tear down method which we can define here. So just write def tear down underscore module. And then uh, inside the parenthesis, you give the module as an argument. And inside this tear down module, you can close your connections or free your resources whatever you want to do after your test you can do in the tear down module so i don't have any close method inside this database class so let me create some dummy close method here so i'm going to just say def close and then i'm going to just use pass here so it's just a blank method and let me just provide the parenthesis here so let's say we want to use this close method to free our resources or close the connection with the database you can do this by just calling this method so db dot close and this is going to free your resources and let's just uh, print something here so we know that these two methods are called so here I'm going to just say that this is a setup method and then inside the tear down module method, we are going to just replace this setup by tear down. So we know that when this setup method is called and when this tear down method is called. So once again, this setup module and tear down module will be recognized automatically by your PyTest. And then this code will be called at the starting of your PyTest. And this code will be called at the end after all your tests have been passed or failed. Then this tear down module test will be called. So let's run the test once again. And you will be able to see that this setup method is called first. And after the execution of the tests, this tear down method is called and we can recognize it by using this print statement. Now, if you haven't already recognized, I have used this minus S or hyphen S option to allow the print method to execute this print statements. So if you want to allow your print statements to be printed on the console, you need to use this hyphen S flag to be more clear i'm going to just remove the hyphen v from here so it will be more clear so you can see it setup is called first and then you will see two dots here which means two tests has been executed 
and at the end this tear down method has been called to free any of the resources which you might want to free or close the connection with the database so this is called the setup and tear down method now let's talk about the python fixtures so instead of using the setup and tear down methods pytest allows us to write the python fixtures which will automatically be called at the starting and the end of your test so instead of writing all this code what i can do here is i have first of all imported this pytest and then i'm going to define a method which i will call db because as you can see here all these tests are just using the db instance so we want to somehow pass this db instance to our tests and then i'm going to provide these parentheses and inside this method i want to do the same so i will uh, just call this setup code here and let me just remove all this code from here and at the end what i want to do here is i want to just return this db instance which i got from the student db class i don't need this global declaration here because there is no global variable and for now let's just comment this code so to declare a fixture you just need to add this decorator at the top of your uh, method which is pytest dot fixture and now what i want to do here is i want to pass this db instance as an argument of both these test cases so now what will happen is pytest will recognize that this is your fixture and then whatever you return from your fixture will be passed using this argument to your test cases so let's run our test and let's see what will happen when we run those tests so you can see both these tests has been passed but you will also observe one more thing and this is that this setup is called twice which is a problem as we have discussed we don't want to call this setup twice we just want to call this setup at the beginning of our tests so how to solve this problem so to solve this problem we can tell pytest that this is a module wide fixture so we just want to call this fixture once at the starting so to do this we just need to write scope is equal to and then just write module here and then we are going to just run our test once again let's see what happens so now you can see the setup is called only once and that's what we wanted right we just wanted to call this setup at the beginning of our test and not at the beginning of each of the test now let's see how we can add the tear down functionality so i'm going to just uh, use this code after this return and then i'm going to uncomment this code and then let's remove this commented code and to call this tear down code which is written here at the end of your tests what you can do here is you can replace this return by yield so when your test will start it's going to execute the code until yield and at the end of your test this code will be executed so let's see what will happen when we run the code once again so let's uh, just call the pytest once again and you can see setup has been called and at the end of your tests tear down has been called so let me just clear the terminal and let's run this pytest command once again without hyphen v verbose so we will be more clear and you can see first of all setup has been called and then your test has been executed which are indicated by these two dots and after your tests this tear down code has been executed so this is how you can use fixtures and setup and tear down methods with your pytest test cases i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video